Hello everybody. Yes, it is time for the international break, so all these club shirts here will go away and I've already prepared all the national team shirts uh, to be put up there, just to give you a preview. Those will be hanging up here very, very soon. But um, since there's really not any games as of now, I thought let's present another shirt. And yes, after the Mil Milan lost, there won't be a Milan shirt, but I have another one. Uh, New Jersey, you've already seen it in some videos, but let's talk about it a little bit in detail. It is this wonderful Netherlands 98-99 jersey as worn in the World Cup uh, in France in 98, where the Netherlands made the fourth spot. I still maintain they should have made it to the final. They were, I, I wanted to, uh, we should have seen a France-Netherlands final. They were one of those great teams and it's actually weird. If you look at their results, there was like this draw against Belgium, then they are great win against South Korea, 5-0, then they have a draw against Mexico, then a kind of a sneaky uh, win over Yugoslavia in the next round, which was also kind of not so great. Then a uh, pretty good performance against Argentina. They were by far the better team, at least in my understanding, against Brazil. Uh, Brazil had Ronaldo and they, then they didn't play against Croatia. Anyway, let's talk about this shirt. Um, I remember that back in 98, I actually had, or 99, I had the chance of buying this one. And the reason I didn't buy it is because I didn't like all this black in there. And if you look at all the Netherlands shirts that I have, most of them, uh, or all of them, no, most of them are orange with white. All my orange shirts. I have the black 2012 away jersey with is really which is black with a little bit of orange. Actually, right here, this one. Because I honestly I like my Dutch team playing in orange and white because that's what I'm used to. So I was really not happy with all this black on here. Uh, but now I get, I sometimes I can like it a lot. Like in uh, 2010, when they made it to final, I actually liked that shirt. Even with the black shorts, it looked okay. This one also, I think there's enough white that balances out and actually the black looks uh, pretty nice. And um, this is of course the new crest. I really want to have a Dutch shirt where it has the old style uh, lion with the sword on there. But it is a really, really nice shirt with a very bright orange. Uh, I actually like that the swoosh here is white with a black outline. The color with the black and then just the white here. And it's a very uh, unique color. It's a really, really good looking one. Um, and I was not too crazy about these black side stripes here. But, you know, this was a Nike template for the longest of times. And it's a classic 90s, very baggy shirt. Um, again, you have also the sleeves cut. And since it was worn with white shorts, I think overall it looked nice. But I remember distinctively, I saw this shirt and I said, no, this is not my type of Holland jersey. There's too much black. Not knowing at the time that actually orange and black was actually quite frequently used, and even at the famous 1974 team. But I didn't uh, know this. But the bright orange is just a beauty to behold. It's really a great shirt and I'm actually going to wear it tomorrow, getting ready for the international break. Um, the only odd part to me is, is the shoulder. I mean, if you look at it, there's a, a whole ventilation panel here on the shoulder. The same material is also here on the sides between the two black stripes. And that kind of make, gives the black stripe a little bit of functionality, kind of uh, making a transition between the front panel and the side panel. But the oranges are not quite matching and it kind of gives this weird um, shoulder look where I actually wonder, should they have gone hockey jersey and make a shoulder yoke uh, by outlining this as well? Would this have been too much? I don't know, but uh, it looks a little bit just uh, taped on. That's the one part of this jersey that I find a little bit weird, but everything else I really, really like about this one. Uh, it is blank on the back, 
totally blank. You know, these were the times where you didn't have any messages here. And actually, I like this plain style. Uh, another thing that Nike came up with here on the side, there is a Netherland tag. Then you have, of course, here the size tag, jock tag, which um, I don't remove this, but they're easy to, to, easy to remove if you don't like stuff like that, uh, especially... I mean, I know that most hockey shirt jerseys that I have here, a Reebok one, they have the jock tag with your size on. This is a very American thing. And of course, Nike being an American company, um, totally went for that. And there's, of course, the dry fit logo, which is also stitched on, um, which is very interesting. I mean, it looks like it's breaking up, but this is all seams uh, from the stitching. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, I give you the kind VB. Of logo also nicely stitched i honestly i was thinking about it um when the 2014 jersey came out with the wonderful nice uh new lion crest that i never was that crazy about it but it didn't bother me either i just accepted it as, as being the current look and you know for most of the time most of my holland jerseys have exactly that lion so i think it's okay and they were successful with that but i'm also glad that they moved on from it well, let me know what you think about this shirt. As I said, my latest addition to my Dutch collection. Uh, and now I'm the Dutch collection is almost up there with the Italy collection, which makes me actually happy because the Netherlands and Italy, those are my two favorite national teams. Uh, and for that reason, uh, it's great to have it. As I said, I would like to have one pre-96 uh, or sooner. Preferably, of course, the 1988 one, but I think I could also live with the 92 one uh, or the 94 one. They were all nice looking shirts. Those are kind of the standards that I would like to have. They had the white collar with the Dutch flag on there. That's some, that's the stuff that I really, really like. But yeah, this one is also really nice. Let me know what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.